Hey, I did not have time to get ready today. So uh, it's my lunch time. I work from home, so I've been like this all day long. And I'm going to put on my makeup, and I thought, why not go live and do it? And also, we could check out another line that I have been um, using for gosh, quite a few months, probably about three months now. Uh, when I was at Generation Beauty, I met this lovely uh, gentleman named Francois who works for the Lise Soitier, uh company and uh, Lise Watier is this is one of their items they are the largest uh, cosmetics company in Canada actually and um, oh hey I guess we've got people watching I see little heads there but I can't see comments so one sec let me just see what's going on here um, let's see I just want to make sure okay can you guys hear me okay let's see if I can get to the comment area here okay all right, I just, sorry, I just wanna make sure this was working. Oh, hey, Kimberly, okay, good, 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 sorry. Just, I've had trouble, I'm doing this from my phone now. Hey, Lisa. Um, oh, I'm so glad, because I've been having so much trouble with it on my computer. It's just been whacking out. I have to actually call Wirecast. <laughs> so I'm doing it from my phone, so I just wanted to make sure that this was working. But um, anyway, in case you just joined, I have no makeup on my face at all. Um, I just have some of the, um, make coop uh raw sauce on my face right now um and then i was gonna get ready and i have some products from lee swatier which is a canadian company i guess lee swatier is like the oprah of canada and started this cosmetics line and they're like the largest one they're bigger than lancome i googled it and they said that they were the number one cosmetics company in canada in 2016. so they sent me some stuff after generation beauty and i've been using it for like three months and it's actually quite nice they have one kind of innovative thing and i, I want to get your take on it um on something with uh, that they do with their lip liners and eyeliners so um i just like get ready and we could chat and uh you know i'll show you this stuff and i'm using a bunch of other stuff too because i only got like Four lipsticks, concealer, two skincare products, lip liner, and um, a blush and like an eye pigment from them. So we'll have lots of other makeup to look at. Ooh, and I just got this. I finally, I broke down. I got the Viseart, the um, matte, warm matte number 10. So I just love their mattes. So anybody been up to anything thrilling lately? I'm just gonna quickly put on this Age Control Supreme. Oh, and if you guys, price-wise, it's department store. Like, I'd say Estee Lauder, long comish. Um, if you're looking, if you're wondering what any of this stuff costs, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but when I looked at it up, when I got it, it was around that. Um, so it's like just a very nice thick cream, but it's not greasy feeling at all. It's, um, very, uh, it sinks in and actually at night I add oil to it because it doesn't feel for me for night. I like to be like a grease slick, you know? <laughs> So have you guys ever heard of this line? I'd never heard of it until I was at um, Generation Beauty. So that was kind of new for me. And uh, yeah, but it's very nice. It has a very, very soft scent of just like high-end skincare. Yeah, Roseanne, I hadn't either, so I was telling me about it, and then I was like, oh, okay, weird. You would have thought it, you'd heard of the largest one in Canada, and I Googled it, and they have a huge line. I mean, it's enormous. If you go on their website, it's huge, 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 and um, they have a really nice eye cream. Actually, I did put this on when I woke up. Do you guys ever have mornings where you just feel super dry under your eyes when you wake up? So I'd already put some of this on, but why not have another blob? Oh, but you know what I love about this stuff? Watch. It has a clear thing so you can see as the product comes up. Because I don't know about you, I waste eye cream all the time because I, if it's in a tube, I squirt out way too much and then it goes like all over my whole face. But um, like even that was too much what I just got. Like this is going like all over. So just kind of getting ready. And um, also I was gonna show you guys, I was watching, so DHC, they have this um, primer. It feels more like the silicone-y one. Um, did I hear what their top products were? You know. I don't know, but I was watching some videos and um, about them because I was like, well, what is this? You know, what, what's the line all about? And um, it, I think it's like like the Estee Lauder Lancome kind of like, they just have like everything. And I think people seem to really like um, their anti-aging skincare a lot. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else. You know, I don't know because I haven't used enough. I need to get more of it to try. But um, I've been using this lately. Um, supposedly, this is really good for oily skin. They were actually, I saw on Snapchat, they were doing something with this um, where people were wearing it, like even a guy who had oily skin, and it was like controlling their oil all day. It was really interesting. Um, and it has more of that, that, um, that silicone-y feel, but it, it's not like a silicone-y feeling as like the um, Smashbox ones. So lately, I've been enjoying this a lot. 
It's been making my makeup stay on really well. I'm starting to really try to more often, um, you know, really use the primer, or the setting spray and make it work. Oh, do you like this? I ran into a, uh, into a piece of my furniture with my face the other day. I was like, oh, lovely. Okay, um, so I'm for foundation. Ah, oh, beauty blender. One sec, I gotta grab. Look, I got a new beauty blender. Isn't it cute? It's red. I got that like at Christmas time, and my pink one just died. So I have finally decided to break out this puppy. So let me just, I was squeeze them out on a towel <laughs> before I use them because then they're too soggy. And let's see, um, what do I have here for foundation? I'm just gonna use my Born This Way. Um, and I use this in natural beige or light beige. I'm pretty light right now. Where's my light beige? I'll use him instead. But anything interesting or thrilling going on for anybody? I'm just working today, so nothing really exciting. I just haven't been able to video edit much lately because, oh my gosh, between you know everybody being sick, Danielle being in the hospital for her migraine twice in a weekend the other weekend and we're doing a bunch of scholarship applications and all this stuff for her right now i thought scholarship applications were kind of over but um we're not too late it turns out there's quite a few actually so that's been kind of a lot of stuff to coordinate but other than that oh she's doing good thank god since that headache went away um, it's been much better. She had like a three week migraine and took two trips to the emergency room. And everyone's like, oh my God, how are you letting her go to school all the way in Alabama? And it's like, well, you know what? I mean, just cause she's had all those health problems, I don't want her to not be able to, you know, go to her dream school. And what we figured out now, in a way is kind of, I guess, a blessing in disguise. We now know for a fact that the cocktail of narcotics and stuff that they give you in the emergency room, that is not gonna work. It's three times now they've tried that and every time she's had to be admitted to the hospital for the other stuff, but now they're able to give her the other stuff actually in the uh, emergency room. It's called DHE and that's the thing that kills her migraine. So her neurologist is putting it in her file and when she goes away to school, we're gonna make sure she takes it with her uh, that you know that's what they need to do immediately and don't even bother with the other stuff because you know why have a bunch of medication that you know doesn't even work. God, my hair is kind of funky today. Huh. Oh well, I only have errands to run later. Okay, so now I'm gonna try, uh, this is their Tint Lumiere, the concealer, and this one is in uh, Claire. Uh, and let me show this to you guys. So it's got like actually a very nice coverage uh, and it's somehow smoother and silkier, I feel like, than Shape Tape. I love Shape Tape, so I'm not dissing that at all, but, um, you know, it just gives a nice coverage without looking, I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't ever look uh, chunky. I mean, it blends super, super well. So I do really, really like this concealer. So there's that. And then, um, oh, so let me show you, this is their, um, their little uh, blush, it's a tint that they sent. And um, I'm not usually super big on creamy uh, blushes, but this one's really, really pretty. Um, I just take a little on my finger and just kind of do this. I just do it. And then I found that it gave a really nice natural glow and it actually stayed. I didn't find that, you know, a lot of times I feel like I put these on and it's kind of like, you have to put another blush on top, which if I want something to last really long, I will do, but, um, but is that pretty? It gives a really nice glow and it's smooth. I mean, look at, that was all the blending I had to do. I think I put more on that cheek. This brand, it's Lise Watier. And the other thing I found is, it's kind of cute on your lips too, look. Oh, oh wait, I shouldn't ruin this because uh, I was about to do their lipstick and lip like, well here I got a little bit on already, but I, I've been using it on my lips too. Oh, your first trip to Canada in June? Oh yeah, okay yeah, and um, you should see it in a bunch of stores because the one thing he told me was that they're in their department stores, um, but that they're, oh, they're also in some other stores, so I bet you'll see this all over the place. Oh yeah, huh. that's awesome. I've been to Canada only when we went on a cruise to, um, Oh, what do you call it? Um, Alaska. And uh, we were in Vancouver and it was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. I wish we could have spent more time. We only had one night. We got there the night before our cruise left. That's exciting. What are you going for? Is it like to visit areas of Canada? Are you going on a cruise or? I love cruises.
cruises. Oh, I just set this with the Laura Mercier setting powder, by the way. I don't think I'm really gonna do anything contour or whatever. This is our easy makeup. Oh, it is a cruise. Are you going to Alaska? I'm kind of guessing you are, because that's, I think, where most of those leave out of. How fun. But you'll have a great time. Everybody like makes fun of Alaskan cruises, but I loved our Alaskan cruise. You know what I am gonna do, you guys? I'm just gonna do one teeny bit of contour. I'm just gonna like hit, I'm just using my Lorac, Lorac. I'm just gonna do like right here. Awesome. That's great. I just love cruises. So which cruise line are you on? We were on, oh, what was it? Um, one we'd never been on before. Holland America, but that was only because we could not use um, the cruise lines we normally would use, which would have been like Princess, because Danielle's about to have surgery, and so that was the only week we could go, and they're the only ones with something available, so that's why we took that cruise. But, um, so it was a little older crowd, but it was super, oh, <gasps> celebrity, oh my God. I've never been on a celebrity yet. We've done pretty much all Princess, the one Holland America, you know, a Carnival, um, we've done, Norwegian, but oh my God, that is gonna be amazing. I've heard such, such good things about that. Oh, I'm so excited for you. How fun, fun, fun. Oh my God, that is so awesome. So I'm just looking for my, um, where is my, my tight liner? Oh, okay, here it is. Uh, Laura Mercier tight liner. Oh, okay, if you haven't been on a cruise, okay, I've got so much stuff to tell you. Okay, this is gonna now turn into cruise talk with Nicole, with makeup thrown in. Um, all right, so um, pack whatever the heck you want. Uh, you have plenty of storage. I know it's a tiny room, but the closet will hold your stuff because, um, you know, it's cold weather. And then when we were on our last thing cruise, it was warm. I'm not kidding. You've got me pictures of me standing in snow, but it's so sunny that I actually ended up, you know, being like in a tank top, like in layers. So bring some layers just in case, unless the weather forecast is that it's for sure going to be freezing there. Uh, and bring lots of warm clothes for when you go through those glaciers. Um, I'm just tight lining right now, by the way. Uh, when you go through those glaciers, it's really cold. And on our cruise, I'm sure they're going to do it on yours too, because yours is even is fancier. They like had hot chocolate and stuff they could bring out there. Oh, the Grand Princess was docked. We went to San Francisco a few weeks ago. Yeah, I've been on the Grand Princess. I forgot where we went on that, but yeah, oh, it's yeah, super super fun. We took one cruise that left out of San Francisco and went down to Mexico and stuff. That was really fun because just drove over, <laughs> got on because we live in Walnut Creek and. And, um, we got to go out under the Golden Gate Bridge. It was really neat. So that was really fun. And then they let you bring, I mean, check with celebrity, but most of the cruise lines I've been on let you bring, um, yeah, so close. Yeah. Lisa, where do you live? Um, they let you bring one bottle of wine per, um, per 21 year old. Okay. So you can do that and have that in your, uh, in your room or, ah, just drop my brush. Ah, I don't need it again, luckily. Um, so you can bring that and that'll save a little money if you want to ever have a glass of wine or something in your room. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. They will usually, you know, the ones I've been on, they sell a, I can't find my makeup brushes. I don't know, I don't know this. Um, they usually will sell a, uh, like a thing, if you have kids with you, like a soda card. Um, and that will cost, it depends, like for a week it's like 50 bucks and then they have unlimited sodas and stuff. They also have like unlimited, like so figure this out your first day. There's like a coffee card um, because otherwise you would pay for if you want a fancy coffee because obviously you, know, you get a lot of drinks, non-alcoholic, you know, beverages with your food and stuff. But um, they also have, oh God, I forgot to put my primer on. Let me do that right now. Luckily I only did the tight lining. Um, they um, have coffee cards. They have uh, the smoothie ones, and then Princess now has alcohol cards, <laughs> like well, like all the alcohol you can drink. But that's really only worth it if you're having like seven drinks a day. Um, we did it once, and we by day four was like, oh my god, we just couldn't even like it was ridiculous. We got one, and then even with Steve, I, I only like have like a glass of wine with dinner, or maybe like one fruity thing at the pool, but I couldn't, we just couldn't, with two people, couldn't even use that. So think about that. If you drink a lot, that might be worth it for you because otherwise you're paying for every single drink. Um, and then what else? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, they do have, oh, they do have washers and dryers on board, at least on every cruise ship. Again, I haven't been on Celebrity that I've been on. So if you're ever worried about doing laundry, uh, then you don't have to, um, you don't have to, you know, worry about that. If some, just I bring those little um, 
pods, those little Tide or whatever, Costco pods or whatever. And then um, I bring some quarters and I bring some fabric softener sheets in a Ziploc bag. And that way, if I need to wash anything, I can do that. I mean, they have dry cleaning. They'll do it for you too. But if you want to pay for if you don't want to pay for it, you know. <laughs> so um, that's available if you don't know. Because these are all things like I learned over all the cruises we've been on. Um, and then I washed a bunch of my brushes and now I can't find the one I want. Oh well, I'll just use this. Um, oh you guys, this is like, look at this. It's like a moussey, squishy um, gold pigment. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna put this on first because I've got a hoodie eye and I'm gonna just, I, I like to kind of anchor down that part first. I, I don't always start in the crease. Um, yeah, the, those, those cards and stuff are really good, especially if you have kids. Is a spa worth going to? Okay, and then, hi Nicole, what line are you going on? We've got nine Caribbean cruises, they don't have a laundry facility. Princess does that. Oh, okay, so I'm not going on a cruise, actually. I wish I were going on a cruise. Um, but um, but yeah, they, so Carnival doesn't have laundry. Interesting, that must be a moneymaker thing. Oh, okay, but then if they don't have laundry, a lot of times what they'll do, um, at least Norwegian did this consistently on the couple cruises we went on with them, they had on your like, like right when you're running out of laundry, they would often have a laundry special where like fill this bag and we'll do everything in it for X amount, which was a better deal than if you did it individually. And so look out, they might have specials like that. Um, the spa, okay, so the spa, I've seen people get beautiful blowouts and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, it's more expensive, you know? Um, you know like I've had a massage, I've had a facial, they were good. They weren't like the most incredible thing I've ever had. But you know, if you want to treat yourself, the spas are usually beautifully appointed. They're usually really, really pretty. They're kind of like a little retreat type of a thing. Um, so you know, it, it is nice to do, but just know you could probably get the same massage or facial at home for a little less money, but you're not on the cruise just kind of enjoying yourself. So you know, it's kind of the toss up like that. Um, but I'd say it's better than a lot of like the ones that I've had in, um, in like Las Vegas. I feel like your cattle going through there in their spas because I've been in a few of those. Oh, just real quick, I'm gonna be using this for the first time, huh? Um, the Viseart, um, uh, what is this? The number 10 warm mats. Uh, but look, isn't this stuff pretty? Uh, the gold, so that's what it looks like with nothing on top. Uh, when I want more of a pop, I will put another gold on top of it, a powder to anchor it. You can get at the very end of the day, like like, 10 hours later, you can get some sparkles around your eye with with um, with this, the Lee Soitier. Oh, this is called, by the way, let me tell you, the uh, Ombre Souffle Supreme. Oh, I just missed the comment. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I never said what this was called. The blush is called the Blush Fondant Supreme, and this is in the coral. Well, coral, but I'm probably butchering the beautiful French word. Um, so I'm trying to think of anything else I could think of. Oh, and then um, for dress up nights, people really do go all out. I mean, I love to. So, you know, my husband owns a tux. So I'm just using this color right now. Um, so he'll bring his tux. Our son actually has a tux too. And then Danielle and I all do to the floor sparkly gowns because it's super fun. And yeah, is that perfect for, for spring? I, this blush, I just love this. Um, and uh, the one thing I would say though is um, if you aren't comfortable getting super dressy, um, there are people who will just wear like the men will wear a collared shirt and a sports coat or just a tie or just or even just a collared shirt sometimes and the lady will just wear a normal dress you don't have to go crazy with the dress up I mean I like to but you know that's just me <laughs> where's my color switchy thing oh gosh I kind of put a bunch of stuff away because this was like a giant disaster of makeup and stuff everywhere and now I can't find anything <laughs> okay I'll just wipe off that brush and then with this gold, hmm, I'm trying to think what I should do. What do you guys think? Oh, ooh, I wonder if I went, also for dress up nice, great opportunity to have family photos taken. There are photographers everywhere. Yeah, and every single night there's photographers. Yeah, so what we do is we look at them every night at the end we, we decide because it's kind of pricey sometimes. Oh, but um, one cool thing about that too, I'm just for fun gonna add a little of this yellow on top. Ooh, I love that. Um, one time we did this one where they did these black and white photos of us and oh my god they are some of the best pictures we ever ever got in our life they were expensive as all get out but probably the best family photos we've ever ever taken great recommendation on the photographers yes um 
but wait till the end before you buy anything because um, then you can see them all because sometimes the thing that you thought was your very 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 favorite you, you know you might find more that you like so I always wait till kind of the end because sometimes you just you know they take them of you getting off the boat on the boat you know wherever you are they'll run around at dinner taking pictures of you it's crazy it's like you've got your own paparazzi but yeah it's super fun we that's how we've been doing our Christmas cards a lot <laughs> whenever we'd be on a cruise we'd have our Christmas card so cruises are awesome and the food oh my god the food is so good but um, I found that I have never gained weight on a cruise because I always do this if I love it, I eat it, and I'll even order another one if I really, really love it. If I don't like it, I stop eating whatever it is. I don't just eat it because it's there, and then I take the stairs. Um, I take the stairs always, even when I'm in my high heels. And there's, you know, you're running around a lot, so I find that that kind of seems to work really well. <laughs> so my little tip, not that I could say a lot right now because I'm like the heaviest I've probably ever been in my life if I wasn't pregnant because I haven't been working out. I really need to work out more. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so now for, okay, eyeliners. All right, they sent me um, two. This is a waterproof one that's a normal one. Oh, you do the same thing, take the stairs? Yeah, right? I mean, because you're eating all the time. Oh, and if they serve high tea, definitely go. They generally have like music, and then they have you know, the waiters serving the scones and the sandwiches and the tea or coffee or whatever you want. That's always fun. So if they serve, high tea definitely go um so sorry this is very nice it lasts really well but what i want to show you is this one because this is really kind of cool this is a um oops this is um the uh, liner okay see how that is but when you put it in and you twist it it self sharpens every time it goes in there so it's really awesome because you always have a sharp sharp tip my only criticism is because it's kind of a short tip, it's, you know, if you want to get like up in there, you, you can't just do it. Sometimes, you know, do you ever go from above and like rub in there? That's the only thing you can't really do because it's a little short to do that. But, um, but I love that it's always, always sharp. Always, always sharp and very, very creamy. So, you know, I usually um, tight line and then we'll often use like the Jessie's Girl Liner or something, but you know, I have to say this is super easy to work with. I mean, look at that. I mean, I like just did, did nothing. <laughs> I mean, I barely touched. Um, so I should blend that out a little bit, my little blendy brush. Um, and then also for all of us who are such makeup lovers, it's such a great time to like wear all your makeup and get dressed up and everything. Um, this is the Lise Watier. Uh, let's see, where's the, okay. <laughs> Automatic long lasting eye stylo. And so when it has little arrows here, I don't know if you can read that, this is on the front facing camera. Yeah, it's not really focusing well. Um, but when you, okay, you gotta, when you twist it off, it just twists off. But then when you do this, it's actually sharpening it. So every time you use it, it see how, how pointy the tip is again? So cool. You know, I should almost like mush it. <laughs> No, that'd be mean. I don't want to waste the product. So that's really nice. And their lip liner is the same way. So how handy is that, right? Because, I mean, how often do you throw a lip liner in your purse? And then it's like so dull. So I love this. Well, I should finish my eyes before I go to lips. But, but such a cool idea that it's self-sharpening. So I thought that was very innovative. I thought that was really, really cool. I'm going to just use real quickly my Lancome Seals Booster. I'm not going to put false lashes on today. Thank you. I've been having them done. And this is... Um, this is the color changing. So, oh, watch here, I'll put my fingers under water where it's cold. So, when they get cold, they get darker. Isn't that fun? They'll get darker all the way down, but it's warm today, so my body heat is probably radiating. Let's see if we can make one turn all the way. Yeah, here we go, okay. It's going. Oh, wow, it must be really warm, but they turn all the way. <laughs> oh, there, that one's starting to drip down, getting colder. <laughs> I know, party trick, when I'm at lunch, I'm like, hey, watch, I'll dunk my hand in ice water. I had ones that were gray that turned, well, they, they turned dark charcoal gray and then they were light gray. So, so they just, depending on what's going on with your, it's like mood fingers. Um, oh yeah, mascara. Oh man, so one second. I'm gonna get a compact so I can see myself better here. Oh, it's 85 degrees in San Jose, right? Yeah, oh Lisa, that's right, you're over there. It sounds like, yeah, it's hot here too. Yesterday it was like 92 degrees in Walnut Creek. 
Lisa, we have to meet up sometime. I don't know why, I forgot that you're over there. I swear my brain, you guys. I, th I think there's just like too much going on. I can't remember anything anymore. Hi, Destiny. Yeah, you can go live on YouTube now. Um, they opened it up on the phone, I don't know, about a month or two ago. And uh, I've been having issues with my computer with Wirecast not working well. I need to call their tech support. And uh, they, uh, I don't know what's going on. It's not even recognizing my webcam anymore. Oh, interesting. One sec, I gotta fix something on my eye. Wait, where is it over here? Ha! My little, my little DHC oil, pre-oil dipped, olive oil dipped little Q-tippy things. One sec, gotta open them. So the only thing with these nails is that like it's harder to um, open things. But I'm trying to get used to it. So what I do, you guys, with these is I leave the plastic on this side and then I will use it to do whatever I need to do. And then the other side stays clean until I'm ready to do whatever else I need it to do. So I think oh, there's a little bit here. When I tight line, sometimes that happens. That was a tight liner. Oh my gosh, it's 60 degrees in Cleveland. Oh my goodness. Oh, well have fun at the track meet. Thanks for joining for a while. Um, Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I did like one eye. Let me do the other eye now. Um, put this on. This really, really, really helps my mascara look thicker. I have been forgetting to use my Latisse at night and I'm starting to notice it on my lashes. They aren't as long as they were. But we can fake anything with makeup, right? <laughs> oh man, so. Yeah, and I like that this is supposed to also condition your lashes too. And my lashes are light, so putting this on white is really kind of weird, but it works. So I've been using this stuff for years. Yeah, it must be pretty hot right now because it's starting to feel warmer while I'm upstairs here. So Destiny says, I wonder if a lot of people go live on here. This is the first live video I've come across. Um, my friend Jen does it here and there. Sorry about that. Um, my phone rang. I thought I had it on Do Not Disturb, but it was my husband, so I think it rang through. Um, yeah, so I don't think that many people have discovered going live yet, and uh, they're just not aware of it. But what I love is that I can see you guys more often. I can, you know, and I don't have to edit. Like right now, you guys, I have so many videos that I've shot that I just haven't had time to edit. And so I figured this way, I can still be more present. Or was any found them helpful too? That's good. Hey, Diana, you're in a live chat. Yay! I'm so glad to see you here. Yeah, nobody really does Periscope anymore, Holly. Say, yeah, well, because for me, um, I like Periscope and then I try to, but, you know, Periscope, I don't have a huge Twitter following and all that. So, and, you know, you guys are all on YouTube. All my friends are pretty much over here. So I was like, well, shoot, now I can do it on my phone here. I'll just whip that out. And it's really nice to do it from the computer, too, because, like, you can upload a cute thumbnail first. Um, with this, the reason my thumbnail is kind of like eh, right now is because you have to take a picture. So, you know, that's your limitation when you start it on your phone. Um, but, you know, it's better than nothing and I wouldn't be on here at all otherwise. So Destiny says, I'd love to talk to girls while they're doing their makeup. I should go live, but I'm shy. I don't want to look dumb. Oh, you don't look dumb. We all make these. I'm probably like, oh, right now I'm putting on mascara. I'm probably making faces if I'm not speaking. <laughs> yeah, so funny. So there, so didn't that work out pretty well? I mean, for right now my lashes like not being like in the greatest shape. I think because I've been wearing lashes a lot, like I'm losing some here and I'm being lazy. I'm not curling them today again. I'm not doing that much stuff today. Okay, so you know what I do when I'm done, like close to, I still to my lips. I usually will take this Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation and then I'll kind of buff it onto my face. Let me find the brush I'll use for this. Um, because it just kind of sets everything a little bit better for me. And then I always put my um, highlight on top of that then so that it's on the very, 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 very top. So still got a highlight, even though it's just an everyday day. Let's highlight real quick and then, oh my God, you guys, you know what I've been loving? This, this is really good. This uh, Cheek Parade, if you're like my skin tone. I don't think for people who have deeper skin tones, it's that great. I've been using the heck out of these bronzers. In fact, I'm gonna bronze a little bit right now. Um, especially this light one, because it is like the perfect skin tone for me. Or tone for my skin, is what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, I really, really have been liking that. 
and you know this one is pretty this one's pretty this one here um it's I don't love it as much as those two it's okay but I've been really enjoying this let's see I'm gonna just really quickly really swipe up here uh California yeah I love it I really love it here it's um I don't know if you can hear, I'll swipe them both. So the middle one is the California, and then this one is the dandelion. So what I've been doing, I've been mixing them together, and I love them. And then sometimes I'll put the um, Rockateur, you know, just kind of like on the upper part as a very subtle highlight. In fact, here, why don't we just use that as a subtle highlight? Okay, where are you, little fan brush? Um, so yeah, we'll just try Rockateur because you know, it just gives you a little bit of shine. It's not like an off the charts type of a thing, but it, it does add something to it. I don't know if you can tell the lighting. I set up my makeup light, it's called the makeup light, and I've stuck it up here, so hopefully the lighting is okay and you can see what I'm doing all right. God, I look so tired. I've been sleeping terribly. Well, I had three hours, or five hours sleep the last three nights, and last night I got like seven for the first time, but I think I'm still looking tired. So let's do eyebrows. Okay, my eyebrow stuff, I think I took some of it out. Okay, what's this? Brow is taupe. Okay, I will just use that, I guess. Where's my Senna one? Eh, oh well, can't find it right now. We'll just do some easy, breezy ones. Um, yeah, I. It's funny how uh, I become just like I don't even want to go to my mailbox without eyebrows on. <laughs> Isn't that bad? So funny, and I don't mean my you know total Instagram eyebrows. Hi Heather. Oh, you live east of Sacramento? Oh my God. So, you know, all of us kind of Bay Area, sacramento -y people, San jose -ish people, we should like try to get together sometime, like meet in San Francisco or something. That'd be really fun. Because uh, I've only gotten to meet a couple of my YouTube friends in person. And that was like a Generation Beauty usually or something. Look at what a difference an eyebrow makes. Is that crazy? Roseanne, it's humid in Texas. Oh, I bet. I bet. Where in Texas are you? I, I heard some areas aren't as bad. I know a lot of people like in Houston, and I heard it's really bad there. And it's only April. Wow, I can't imagine how it is going to be in summer. And Destiny's in Florida. Oh my gosh. I've only been, well, I've been in Orlando once a long, long, long time ago, like 20 years ago, but, um, but Roseanne needs setting spray. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do that. I got my, my Fix Plus for at the end. And Destiny says in the 70s and 80s. Oh, Heather, you go to San Francisco once in a while? Oh, yeah, because I'm only half an hour from there. I go there every once in a while, too, for something for work. Oh, I missed it. Finally stopped raining somewhere, but I missed who it was in the rest of the sentence. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully everybody else caught it. Yeah, here it's been really nice and warm. And like I said, 92 degrees yesterday, but it's supposed to, on Sunday, rain, if you can believe that. Rain. So there's that. Okay. And then let me just get my little spoolie because they never look as good as when you spoolie. And let's see, does it look even? Looks pretty even. Okay, where are you? I've been really, really liking the Fix Plus. Let's see. And then what I've been doing, you guys, with a clean end of my beauty blender, I pat it in and I swear to God, that makes it last forever. I guess I should do my lips too. Because I just realized they look really naked. And then if I still feel like I have a little shine or anything, I might like touch up again with some powder on top of this, but usually it dries down pretty well. I always felt kind of sticky with the Urban Decay ones after a while. And I didn't feel like they worked as well. Okay, so now we'll use the Lee Watier. Uh... Sorry about that. My husband keeps calling. Oh my God. And I have it on Do Not Disturb. I have to like take it off of the list to ring through. So, uh, oh, I like the primer water too. Look, right here. I got it too. Love that. Um, so this is another one of those twist and sharp. So it sharpens itself automatically, which I love. And this is, what color are you? Oh, suede. Uh, automatic long lasting lip stylo. You know what? I need to look in the mirror. I can't see my other mirrors too far away. <laughs> Do it this way. So it's very natural. It's uh, not super, super creamy, but it stays, you know what I mean? So uh, I have some that are lovely to put on, but then they just go away really fast. 
and I'm noticing I'm starting to get really little bit of fine lines around my lips. You really can't tell, but like I have to really watch it with like a red lipstick or some of the um, matte ones. So I really like using liners lately. And they say that as you age, your lip line definition goes away. So to look younger, use lip liner because then you have more of that natural defined lip look. Okay, so they sent me four different lipsticks. It's a metal, like a metal packaging. Um, it feels very quality, it's heavy. I think they look nice and sleek, so they look kind of good when you take them out. Um, and they sent me a bunch of different neutral colors. So here, I'll swatch these. This one is, what are you? Um, Kim, so this is Kim. So just a nice neutral which looks like really like the lip liner. This one is called, I think this is the one I've been using the most. I think I had this in my purse for a while. Uh, Arel. Yeah, can you tell? That's like the total Nicole color, right? <laughs> and yeah, they sent me the right colors because I like these kind of nude colors. This one is Clara. How do you find other people live? Oh, okay. Um, you know, I bet you if you just, okay, two ways, okay. If you wanted to find replays of it live, I bet if you just searched for it. But, oh, magnetic, by the way, love that. Does not open in your purse. But if you want, like, let's say you watch, I don't know, uh, Jen or, you know, I don't know, Emily Noel or Tati or somebody, whoever you like, if you go into the notifications, and then you can set the notifications on theirs with a little bell to alert you. So when they go live, you'll get an email. Um, and then like for me, it'll pop up on my phone if someone I'm watching goes live. So this one is called, what are you called? Maya. So aren't those pretty? So I guess I'm gonna use my favorite because it's my favorite. Yeah, so you should be able to do that. And then you'll get alerted when your favorite people go live. Because um, otherwise, you know, you're just hoping that you happen to get a notification. Although I heard everybody's supposed to get notified, but I think it'll pop up on your phone. Yeah, you love this one the most too? Yeah, we've got the same coloring. So yeah, we probably could just like move into each other's makeup and be perfectly happy. But yeah, I think they're super pretty. And they're very creamy. They remind me of... Um, Kind of similar to like a higher end, like if you're getting like a Lancome or Marc Jacobs or you know Tom Forty, like that kind of a very creamy, last average. If you eat, they're gonna go away. If you know, if you're just at work or whatever, it'll probably last a few hours, but very creamy. They're not like the Ronnie Cosmetics ones that Shawnee Total Makeup Junkie 101. Hers, they go on a bit drier, um, but they're still com very comfortable and they are a normal lipstick, but those really, really stay a really long time. But these are super comfortable. And you know, honestly, I grew up without lip liquid lipsticks. So I personally, I'd rather reapply this three times and be comfortable all day than sit there, you know, I mean, I'm not dissing liquid lipsticks totally because I have a whole bunch. And oh, I have to tell you, you know which ones I've been loving actually is the Makeup Forever ones. I've got a couple of these and I've been really digging them. And um, what I found is to make them comfortable is if I use this and then I put, I'm in love with this Mana lip gloss. I got it in some beauty box and I'm, I might actually buy another one of these. I like it so much. I put it on top a bit and, and it stays really, really long. And then when the gloss wears off, I still have the, the, um, the liquid lipstick underneath. But mm, I love these. These are totally kind of my everyday type of a thing that I use. So um, yeah, but so I guess I'm kind of done. And I probably, what time is it? Yeah, I should get back to work now. But at least I've got my face on so I can face the day. And I kind of wanted to share this product line with you because I've, I've been using it for three months, you know, this stuff. And I've really been liking it. And um, yeah, just I'd never known about it and thought it kind of turned out good. So I'm so glad you guys joined me. And uh, yeah, I'll be live again soon. I've got some other stuff. Oh, I want to show you the Costco stuff that I bought from Costco online. So I'll go live again soon to do that. Maybe I'll have to do little lunch hour lives. Yeah, lunch hour live. What do you think? So have a good day, everybody. I'm gonna go hit the computer again. So bye. Oh, and have an awesome time. When's your cruise? When's your cruise? Because um, like, I'll have to think of more things about the cruise. I actually shot a whole video I've never ever edited about what I brought on a cruise. Maybe I should still put it out, but. <laughs> okay, bye guys.